Hello everyone, Crow here, back again with another video. While browsing the web, I came across an article by op.gg discussing the topic of the aging curve. It was a data analysis done for League of Legends, using roughly 160,000 data points from tournament player data starting from 2016, and was inspired by a previous study for StarCraft 2, which found that there was a decline in reaction speed starting from the age of 23. One of the key statistics found in this study was the average number of deaths per game, which declined declined until the age of 24 and began increasing rapidly afterwards. The number of deaths is a key statistic in most competitive games and provides direct insight into the player's performance. Which leads to today's video, does the aging curve exist for Overwatch? Let's find out. We first looked at the closest statistic to deaths per game in Overwatch, which is deaths per 10. We looked at a total of 353 players who have had at least 60 minutes of playtime in the first 4 years of the Overwatch League. Then we managed to find the birthdays of every player and combine the two datasets. During this process, we accrued a total of 679 data points excluding 25 which had missing birth years. The reason the data points increased from 353 to 679 is because players who play for multiple years represent different data points. To put it simply, it's like FIFA Online where the players have different cards for each year they play, like 2018 Toby, 2019 Toby, 2020 Toby, and 2021 Toby. You might be wondering then isn't the data set too small? Perhaps, but these are the records of players who had at least 60 minutes of playtime, and considering the fact that a round of Overwatch is relatively short, the average value of deaths per 10 is actually encompassing a much larger data set from every single map and game each player has played in, so the sample size isn't actually too small. Once the data sheet is created, the calculations become pretty simple. You can just pray to the Google overlords to create a graph for you. After trying out a few different versions of the graphs, here are our findings. First, we counted how many players are in each age group per Overwatch League season, so we visualized the number of players starting from age 18, 19, 20, and so on. While looking at each of the age graphs for the inaugural 2019, 2020, and 2021 seasons of the Overwatch League, we can see that the average age is decreasing over time. The average age per season being 21.57 for 2018, 21.4 for 2019, 21.25 for 2020, and 21. 3 for the 2021 season. Another interesting thing is that there's a mini generation of players who dominate the Overwatch League. Players who were born in 1999 were the largest group of players starting from the inaugural season all the way up to the 2020 season, and also were the second largest group for the 2021 season. Now let's get into the aging curve. First, we graph the average deaths per 10 over each age group. One thing to keep in mind is that because the number of players above the age of 27 is super small, we combine the data into a category called 27 and up. Here are the final results. There definitely is an aging curve for Overwatch. The average deaths per 10 decreases up to the age of 22 and it suddenly increases at the age of 23. The overall trend in our graph is very similar to the League of Legends data published by OP.GG, but the pivot point of the aging curve is different for Overwatch than that of League of Legends. In League of Legends, the average number of deaths increased around the age of 25, while in Overwatch, the average number of deaths increased around the age of 23, which may be due to the fast-paced nature of Overwatch in comparison to the other competitive games. So yes, Overwatch does have an aging curve and it comes much earlier than that of League of Legends, but of course this isn't a perfect study. Like I've mentioned before, the sample size is much smaller than that of League of Legends, so you should probably take it with a grain of salt. Furthermore, there have been numerous changes to tournament rules, the number of matches per year, meta changes, and so on, which definitely have an impact on the data. If we split the data per season, we can see a similar trend line in the first three seasons of the league, but in the 2021 season, we can see that there are no trends in the data whatsoever, and I'm not quite sure why this is the case. The different metas of each season has influenced the duration of games as well as the duration of teamfights, which is why the average deaths per 10 vary in range across the different seasons. For example, the GOATS meta of 2019 is on average 1 deaths per 10 lower than that of other seasons because of the long time to kill and the long duration of teamfights. So if we take these things into account as well, we can't be 100% sure the aging curve is definitive. This means that for me personally, I've turned 23 this year, so this might be the last chance I have to climb on DPS. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below.